get my recording going. Make sure I check my modules. I actually started a race last night with a fuel scoop. That was a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> I had used it to get back to the starting line. Okay. And top of the minute. Disqualified. Yelp. Uh, so, call to 85 sector OK T. Um. Does that sound yes, right? Yes, B18 2. And oh. good thing I was going through my right hand panel because you remember when all the fire boots were reset. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. Uh. <laughs> good thing I happened to uh, look at So I have 48 limpets. I okay. have one. That makes sense to me. Good. <laughs> so if it doesn't work, it's not my fault anymore. Right. I'm a math teacher, so I sh should know how it goes. Okay, I've started. I'm going to turn my game volume down somewhat. Do, do, do. Okay. Excellent. I will engage Navlock once I'm out of Witch Space, because I don't trust anything that happens in Witch Space. If you try to communicate with people, it's always ended up weird for me. There we go. And it feels very strange after like five days to just be flying one ship at a time. It's very peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Two jumps out. So it did, didn't uh, redo the jump in, but as far as the two reference systems go, I don't seem to have moved the really load out, so you should still drop out. That makes sense. Sweet. Yeah, I was not. I was not very good at optimizing the position for the jumps, or for the drops, because that's always a bit I mean, tricky. I haven't, I haven't done a whole lot of optimizing, just to make sure that when I turn the... So firstly I was making sure that directly plotting to the next refill stop was uh, available. made me come in from roughly the same direction as your last jump before that, right? Yeah, that makes sense. And then I just made sure that I'm mm -hmm. actually in the of the next season. Right. right. Was there ever a rat case? I can't imagine one where they had to refuel somebody like multiple times to get them to limp home. I mean, you occasionally, I guess, have the clients without fuel scoops, but usually they're in the bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens mm -hmm. not that often. <laughs> usually that's the There we go. Somewhere Dropping in on you. Okay. Now I am plotting to my next point. And it is visible. That is a lot. How come they're so much faster? <laughs> uh, probably because my cargo hatch is disabled. Your cargo hatch was what? Disabled. So it doesn't have to open to let them on. <laughs> oh. That was impressive. I will need to do that in the future. Because that was just a beautiful stream. There we go. Dang, that was fast. Okay. 
Now I will scoop up here and then make one jump to the next point. Excellent. You Thank you. So I'm at NLTT. I'm not, actually I'm not there yet. I am jumping to NLTT. Next one should be LP six three four. And I'm jumping there now. Excellent. And I even see you there. The galaxy map is useful. <laughs> With the what? Oh, <laughs> I've been doing emergency drops and they seem to work fine. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess they put a bit of wear on what the FSD or something, but yeah, yeah it's um, you, you take a little bit of damage on all modules and sometimes go for an emergency drop just like crashing into a star something. Yep, dropping on you, and I'm here. There's always a couple stragglers here. I get 15 out in a row, and then the last three are like blip, blip, blip at the end. Fascinating. I wonder if it has to do with what specific, huh? With what specific um, controllers? Controllers you have, yeah. I guess technically someone could do some testing, but I really don't be honest. Right. It just so is such a rare speed. case. Yeah. Uh, you're doing uh, the stop at Wallheim, right? Yes. So I do have time to speed. I don't think that's optional. I mean, yes, I am doing the stop at Wallheim before the next thing. You have time to speed. Yeah, that, that's what I yeah. mean. <laughs> I originally thought it was optional because, like, it said visit Wallheim, and I was like, can I just drop in and not dock but <laughs> <laughs> then then I looked at the uh, screenshot requirements and I was like yes I definitely have to dock um, and it is worth so it for I the fuel <laughs> I am at 0 0.9 tons of fuel in the main tank and 0 0.1 in the active reservoir because I was jumping through a white uh, brown door <laughs> Oof. don't run out yourself well, stuff, right? I can't save you <laughs> I mean with your range that should get you like 10, 10 light years or something, you'll be fine. Actually, not sure. I should do the map on that. But I can just skip it before jumping to the next one. I need 16, 18 ish tons, I guess. to LHS. Now I need to plot two Man, jumps to Wolheim. Right kind of exactly <laughs> nice. That's the thing. Like I, I basically haven't played it for the past two or three years except for Buckyball races, but I've got enough hundreds of hours into it that I, yeah. I never forget the controls and whatnot. <laughs> Kind of like riding a bike, right? Yep. Well, and that can be really hard for playing with new people. We're trying to teach them because it is overwhelming at first. Yeah, and it's <laughs> just all so natural for you that you fail to mention half the important things. Right. 
<laughs> and jumping to fuel them, or however that's yeah, said. <laughs> One thing that was really disappointing was fuel them, if I recall did not have a full selection of fuel scoops or fuel limpet controllers, which I found to be very disappointing. Yeah, it's a shame, right? If there was one thing you'd think they'd sell there. So looking at my timer, so far I am 36 seconds under my best time. So this has been much faster. Was that the video you sent me? No, I did a, a run or two last night trying to improve oh. it. And so I got better than that. But this is even better than oh, that. I, I guess it's good that we're better than that then. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I am about to drop on Wolheim. The approach to that is weird. Maybe it's because it's a big planet and it's so close to the star. But my normal three second drops don't quite work. There's no particular reason to go. I think I've been to Rodinchen. But for some reason, whenever I'm in Polonia, I don't have this. <laughs> you don't what? Whenever I'm in Polonia, I don't get in Rodinchen first, which is the, the road system in Polonia. Yep. Fuel, repair, launch, and plot to Malsuman. I also am not at all used to flying medium ships in races. It's usually large or small, and so I don't really know where the pads and stations are. I once got a large pad on the side one. Well, there was somebody else out here in a Type 9 Heavy that I brushed past. And so I'm at 41% health. It's true. <laughs> I do not have repair limits. Uh, thank you. I don't need them. <laughs> Although, have you ever run over a client when you dropped on them? Um, I once almost exploded uh, the other fuel red. Oh. Because I dropped on the other red. That's better than a client. I'm pretty sure I once... <laughs> yes ran over a client, but that was like four or five years ago, so I can't really remember the details well. I felt yeah, really bad though. Me, but that, but that more yeah. I am two jumps out. And I am low-key bummed. I do not think it's possible to get a negative time in this race. Because I'm already yeah. at 13 minutes, 30 seconds. And it might be, I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm sure Shay could shave like a few seconds off everything I've done, but I don't think, yeah. But you could beat the number one time in the leaderboards right now. Oh, definitely. Yes. <laughs> and jumping to Malsumon. I am just surprised that so few other people have tried doing limpets. It does require organization, obviously. 
Um, but there are, like, it, I feel if you just went into the Fuel Rats IRC and asked if somebody was around to help, you'd get a lot of people who'd be like, sure. Yeah, probably. They're uh, friendly I guess most people. most people wouldn't have a ship at hand that actually works fine like this one does. It's true. The best part about this ship is that it's like 46.3 light years between the first and second refuel stop. I'm and dropping. I'm laden, I have 64.6 light years range. <clears throat> Wrong fire loop, must be like two seconds, sorry. That's fine. Hey, but now they all went out at the same time. Oh, it's range because two of them are... Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. And spooling. Um, that is nice. I'm surprised the range is that low. You said 46 light years? No, 64. Oh, 64. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was like a conda, a, a red in conda, where your range is 46. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the distance is 64.3 or something, and yep. the fully laden range is 64.6. Okay, <laughs> nice. That That's perfect. Just fine. And now there's no pressure. Just don't mess up the final approach for me. <laughs> Should I do a loop of shame to appease the buckyball? <laughs> I don't know. It might work. It might work. I've been doing a lot of spirals for the uh, Magic 8 races, but the cookie hole loop is a classic that worked well. Have you seen that? No. You approach the planet that the station is surrounding until you're down to like 0 0.3 seconds. Then you cut your engines and fly past the planet and do a loop back to the station. Oh. Okay. Um, and that's what I call the cookie hole loop at least, because he he was really, really good at it. Um, he hasn't raced for a few years. Uh, but it was much, much faster than anything else except maybe the, the death spiral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't bother a lot with um, any fast approaches because I don't usually do racing when I'm not racing. <laughs> I don't care about it. Really. It's true. <laughs> That's what the super cruise assist is for. Anywhere. Well, I, I usually don't have the space for super cruise assist. I know what it is. It's because the Chieftain has, I feel like, a really poor Super Cruise turning radius. And so these approaches feel very strange. Okay, got to her cub. Request docking. Give me a good pad. I can tell you all about how the All about how what? How the Chieftain handles in combat, but it's not. I really like it in combat. It's very fun for that. At least. My super cruise ships in the Chieftain are usually carrier to distress call and back. Carrier to distress call and back. And that was 54 seconds off the previous time. Sweet. Well, that was awesome. Let me know if you want to do the Cobra one. If not, I'm very happy with that run.
Um, we can do either, but for the Koba, I need some prep then to check out the stops and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I think this is a good run. I don't want to do it again. It was solid. Okay. I'm happy. Oh, I do need to record my loadout so that I can have, have proof that everything was according to the rules. I tried doing that same stop because I originally designed that for the Cobra route and I tried doing it for the Chieftain route which was backwards and I ended up running out of fuel and that's what you saw with the video I sent you where I had to like wait two and a half minutes for my fuel ship to, to catch up to me because <laughs> mm. I didn't think I would have to stop there and that was wrong. Mm. 